city, you know, is a big step, you know, in, in life. But I really do um, believe, looking back on it, it helped me, you know, mature not only with my education, but also socially, you know, and, and with, you know, starting to begin to gain some independence. So, like, all of a sudden, you like, you have a crew that you're going on the train with. You're not really, like, ever really feeling alone. And then once you get here, you know, it may be, you know, it may sound, you know, big at first, there's, an, uh, you know, 800 kids per year uh, that go to school here. Uh, but you really start to really find, you know, your network of friends. A lot of times it's based on what kind of subject matter you might like. A lot of times it's on the extracurricular. You know, I spent a lot of time in the theater. I love math and science, but also love theater and painting scenery and doing stuff like that. And I got a lot of it. So one of the things that has stayed the same is really the peer relationship here at Stai. Like, Students really look out for one another. Um, I'm personally a proud son of immigrants. I'm first generation American, first to go to college. Um, I grew up in Sheepshead Bay. It took an hour to get to Stuy. An it hour. Was well worth it, you know. Um, an hour. I, you hear that? You know, in the beginning, obviously, you know, my mom was a little nervous about me taking the, the train. Um, but what you will soon find is that there's micro communities all throughout the city that are going to Stuy or Bronx Science or Brooklyn Tech, etc. Yeah, to your point, English English is my second language. Um, I grew up speaking Italian at home, uh, even though I was born here. You know, I went to kindergarten speaking Italian, and I ended kindergarten only speaking English. <laughs> um, but no, it's a very multicultural community here at Stuyvesant. Um, you know, there are folks from varying, you know, um, uh, nations of origin or religions or parts of New York, or different affluence. You know, you really have an experience where it's, you know, um, starting to taste the diversity of New York City. Um, we know that, you know, we could all be doing better in terms of the diversity of each of the schools, reflective of the entire city. But I would say that it is a very multicultural field. Um, it's a, a bunch of affinity groups you know, uh, that exists, again, creating bonds between students. And there's a wonderful guidance uh, counselor's office. You know, there's staff with like 10 folks speaking different languages as well. It is only because of my education that I have the life that I have. And if I didn't have education, I had nothing. I had no network, no context. I, I didn't know like what a PhD was. I didn't know like about grad school. I learned that what an MBA was like at 20. I just want you to know, I didn't even know like terminology. So for me to be, my parents are both union workers and they're amazing grandparents and they're babysitting my kids right now. So I just want to say like my emotional support network, having parents like this was amazing, but I couldn't, you know, expect them to navigate my education and they would say, my dad would say, do good in school, do good in school, do well in school. You guys know that, but you know, but that was kind of like the advice I got, but the actual pathway I didn't learn. So I want to just share that with you, that what you're getting out of this right now is direction. And I'm a first gen and Diego's a first gen and we're, listen, this is a big deal that right now you have an opportunity to excel and to, you know, shape your future. And if I didn't have the education I had, I wouldn't have the doors open that I had later in life. I went to college, I went to law school, I went, and I always encourage, especially the girls of color, I'm like, you have to go for a JD MBA. And they're like, what? Like, oh my God, yes, this is the plan. So just remember that your end goal is going to be to look for great high schools, great colleges, great opportunities, because it's really gonna, nothing will make you prouder than seeing the fruits of your labor and knowing that the next generation is better and you're working to be a better, wiser, stronger community. And I'm very thankful for all the success that, you know, Queller Prep has. I wanna also really address Sky Prep is an amazing organization. And it is an alumni base that I am so proud to know with Christine Alfonso, who's not here right now, and it just really right now, and it just really like David, who I've also called a separate thousand times. I really wanna say thank you because for you to lead an organization, the whole purpose is outreach and connecting and helping. I want to share that with all of you, that not only is Stuyvesant High School amazing, the Stuyvesant alumni base is at this world. So I want to share that with you. I hope that all of you um, have a really great trip and tour. And the benefit of you being the last group is that you got to listen to the speeches because I couldn't get through the earlier. So just remember that. So I'm very happy to tell you that this is a special moment and you don't have to go. Sky this 
lesson, but you have to always push yourself to try a little harder and to do a little more. And to, you know, make your parents proud of you. Remember this, like you're the next gen, this is a big deal. Um, almost everyone here right now is a first gen and I'm really proud of that. So I wanna just share that with you. This is a big deal, okay? Um, and that's it, I'm really glad you're here and you are the last group, okay? Take